Jeremy, written by Chris Fail and illustrated by Danny Snell. Last year, a pair of kookaburras made a nest high in the big palm tree in our garden. One night, our cat brought a baby bird into the lounge room. It was very ugly, with a big beak, big bulgy closed eyes and no feathers. It was a baby kookaburra. You see him there on the page? It's so tiny. It must have fallen out of the nest in the palm tree. We couldn't put it back because the nest was too high. So we put the baby bird in a box and kept it warm with a hot water bottle. We named it Jeremy. Jeremy loved to eat. We got some special food for baby kookaburras and we fed him every four hours. He grew very quickly. After one week, Jeremy started to get little spiky feathers. His eyes were still closed though. When Jeremy was two weeks old, he looked more like a bird. His feet were very big and his spiky feathers were getting longer. Now his eyes were open and he watched everything around him. He still ate lots of food. Soon he had lots of real feathers and he was much heavier. He loved to be cuddled and he started to know his name. He always told us when it was time for more food by squawking loudly. Boy, did he squawk a lot. Jeremy grew so fast that he was often tired. At night, he liked to watch the television, but he nearly always fell asleep. Sometimes he didn't want to go to bed. Once, Jeremy came to school with me for show and tell. Jeremy was so friendly that everyone wanted to take turns holding him. Jeremy really liked this. Jeremy's new feathers made him very itchy. By the time he was four weeks old, he looked just like a grown-up kookaburra, but smaller. Jeremy loved to watch the fish swimming in our fish tank. I wonder if he was thinking how nice they would be for lunch. Soon, Jeremy wanted to fly. He practiced flapping his wings, but he could not get off the table. He would wear himself out and then he would have a sleep. When Jeremy started to fly properly, he crashed into the walls. It was time for him to be outside. He loved being in the backyard listening to the other birds. He was now six weeks old. Over the next few days, Jeremy started to fly around a lot. The willy wagtails chased him everywhere. He always came to the back window when it was time to be fed. The day before Christmas, Jeremy came to say goodbye. He landed on my shoulder and he gave me a kiss. Then he flew up to the big gum tree in the backyard to sit with two other small kookaburras. Perhaps they were his brother and sister. At sunset, the three kookaburras flew away together. That was the last time we saw Jeremy. We were so glad that Jeremy had grown up to be a beautiful, healthy kookaburra and that he had found his family. The end.